Hey guys, this is Baniac here coming to you live from lifelikeyoumeanit.com and today we are going to talk about another NLP strategy to change your life and that is looking at the whole concept of failure and making a decision to shift your mindset on that and look at it instead as an opportunity for feedback or redirection. <music> I mention it as a mindset shift because that is exactly what it is. We're, we're just kind of so naturally looking at the idea of something that doesn't go exactly according to plan. Hello, puppy, who's trying to get off my lap right now? I love you. Um, so we're so busy at looking at something that doesn't go exactly according to plan as a failure. And yes, of course, I've had my fair share of things that have happened that have been absolutely devastating. And I'm not talking about again, denying or lying to yourself or anything like that. There is obviously going to be times where things don't work out exactly the way that you had wanted. And it really, truly is devastating in that moment. And there's nothing that I'm going to say to try to take away from that. In fact, I fully believe that you should honor that and acknowledge and honor the fact that you feel the loss, right? You're grieving for what you had hoped would happen. And you are adjusting to new life, as, as you know it, with this not coming to fruition. But what I am suggesting is that once you have allowed yourself to acknowledge and honor what you are feeling and experiencing in this moment, that you then start to say, OK, is it possible that this not working out exactly as I had wanted is actually maybe going to lead me in a different direction that might be better for me. Now let's take, I always talk about business. And so let's talk about something different. Let's talk about the breakdown of a relationship because everybody has probably gone through, right? Your relationship not working out. And that can be absolutely devastating. I'm divorced and remarried now. So I am no stranger to, to having a, a major relationship not work out. But I remember being a teenager and in my 20s as well, when, you know, some relationships that really I struggled quite a bit when those relationships ended. So think back to and maybe you're undergoing this right now, right? But think back to the last time that you had a relationship not work out the way that you had wanted. And this doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. This can be friendships, relationship with your colleagues or, you know, any any kind of relationship is fine. Even the relationship that you have with your kids. Right. So they turn out to not be the way that you had expected. Right. Say you do have a breakup or something like that that happens. Right. So acknowledging, acknowledging the fact that you are feeling really bad about this situation, that you're grieving for the loss of what you had hoped for, the loss of what you thought you had, the loss of what you did have. But at the same time, reminding yourself that there will be a time when you will be able to look back at this moment right here and you will be able to see a trail of breadcrumbs that is leading you to wherever this future self of yours is seeing this from. There will be a time when you will be able to look back and say, you know what, if that didn't happen, then I don't think I would be where I am right here. So I've talked about my own divorce before, for example, that, you know, obviously that was an incredibly difficult time for me. And I could never have known that I would have moved to England, on, you know, another country on a, another continent um, and shifted careers at the same time, not knowing a, a, a soul here and have all of these major life changes. I didn't know that that was going to be in my future. All I knew in that moment is that I felt like I had failed because I couldn't make my marriage work. And I kept holding on to the fact that I knew that at some point in the future, I would look back at this time and I would see it through different eyes because I would be in a different place. I didn't know what that place was going to be, but I would be there and I would be able to acknowledge that no matter how difficult this was, 
it did actually offer me the opportunity to be where I am now. And then I sat back and started looking and saying, okay, so if, if I choose to not look at this divorce as a failure and instead I look at it as an opportunity for growth and redirection with my life or, or even just in certain areas of my life, then I can start to see hope. I can start to, even not knowing what the future holds and where I'm going to be, I can at least start shifting my mindset in looking at this as believing that there one day will be some positive that will come out of it, even though in that moment I didn't feel very positive. And sure enough, I've mentioned I am remarried. I live in another country that's on another continent. I shifted careers twice since then, put myself through university, started a podcast. I mean, I have done so much since that divorce. And sure, you know, some of it maybe I would have ended up doing as well if I had stayed married and stayed in Canada. I mean, I definitely wouldn't have moved to England if I would have stayed married. Maybe I would have shifted careers. I, I don't think I would have because when I look at my my kind of path to get me to what I do now with my work with NLP and my podcast, and writing my book and, and whatnot, all of those things kind of came out of me having this experience that I've had since the divorce. And so I'm not sure if I would have stayed married and stayed in Canada if the same kind of inspiration would have happened, if you will, for me to actually make that shift. So yeah, I can honestly and truly look at where I am right now and say, I would not have got here if it wasn't for that divorce. So now do I look at that divorce as me failing at marriage? And so now, of course, I don't see it as a failure. Now I see it as an opportunity. It was an opportunity for me to grow and heal and shift and move into a new direction to redirect my life. So you could do the same sort of thing with business, with other relationships, you know, whatever it is that's going on in your life, it's not about, again, denying that you're hurting. It's not about denying that you are feeling discomfort, you are feeling lost, you're grieving, right? You were excited about something and now it feels like you've just fallen flat onto your face. It's not about denying that that exists. It's not about trying to convince yourself that you are happy and everything is good and lying to yourself or other people that you are sad or you know disappointed or grieving or whatever it is, depending on your scenario. But it is about allowing yourself to understand that while you're honoring these emotions that you're feeling right now, you're also reminding yourself that there will be a point where you will experience this completely differently. You will see branches that have come out from this opportunity that you can't currently see. And by shifting your mindset and allowing yourself to realize that that will happen, then you are stopping yourself from going down that whole rabbit hole. You're allowing yourself to feel the negative feelings that come with loss, while at the same time not allowing yourself to get buried by them. And you can easily pull yourself back out of that and start shifting to say, you know what, if this is, you know, if it's a business venture, you can see how this could be an opportunity, right? Something that you were working on a launch, say, and it didn't go according to plan. Again, you grieve the loss of not attaining what it was that you were hoping for. And of course, you can go through all that gamut of emotion, that anger, that sadness, the disappointment and all of it. But at the same time, remind yourself that this just might be an opportunity for you to shift or even just tweak something and bring you to an area or an avenue within your business that you never would have explored if this would have been the success that you were planning. You don't know what that is now. You don't know what that opportunity is. But by allowing yourself to entertain the thought that an opportunity could exist, you are allowing yourself to be open to new ideas and suggestions and you're preventing yourself from going down that rabbit hole being buried alive, if that makes sense. So I hope that that helps. If you are interested in how NLP can help you in your specific situation you're going through right now, jump on a free 30-minute discovery call with me at lifelikeyoumeanit.com slash calendar. 
and we will check out, see what's going on with you. Allow me to learn a little bit about you and then we can see exactly what NLP will do for you. So lifelikeunit.com slash calendar. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.